Right, morning guys, just having a quick morning coffee and I thought I would get the first one of the uh, the dashboards assembled for the uh, Glorious 1st of June event. First off, I apologise for the shaky camera, uh, but yeah, anyway, just quickly show you so what's going on. So the idea is each ship nameplate obviously matches the ship. They are, you can just take them out. So for when we do different events, maybe the Nile and Trafalgar, it's not a promise. Let's see how this one goes first. Uh, so we can swap them and obviously we can even swap on the ships because it's hard doing it one-handed but they just pop out like that and yeah so that's that part the ship card from warlord games goes in here this is still useful because obviously it tells you your rate of knots your ship points and your break point as well as your guns at each broadside and stuff however to keep track because we're doing we plan on doing bigger games to keep track of each individual ship, we thought we'd um, get a dashboard like this um, designed, basically. Um, we haven't put a space for effects and upgrades, because we're thinking like you can just chuck them in this part. Because really all you need is the guns and stuff on this. Um, but on the outside, as you can see, we've got the dials that just turn. Um, as you take damage, they'll move, they're just magnetised on. Uh, one and a half mil magnets, so it makes the three mil total, which then obviously raises them up to turn. Then at the bottom, we've got the sail setting, so obviously light sails, battle sails, full sails, and then at anchor. Um, and then this part here is the initial broadside, because the way we play it is it's only the first broadside per ship gets the bonus, not each broadside. And the way I, I know some people say, oh, each side should get it. Each broadside should get it, port and starboard, purely because they're perfectly loaded. But the way I see it is that once one broadside's fired, there's so much smoke and confusion and like noise going on inside the gun decks that the other broadside doesn't get such a, a clean shot kind of thing. So. We play it as one broadside, so essentially once you've fired your broadside, you just slide that across. Easier said than done, obviously. You just slide that across to show. However, if we are playing a British ship, the flip side of that token will also have an Admiral's hat. There we go. So then the Admiral's hat lets you show if you've done your once per turn, the Admiralty reroll. So let's say the, the Brits need to take a skill test before they have fired. They would then simply flip that over first. That shows they've used their reroll, and then once they've done their initial broadside, they slide that across. So yeah, we've had 70 of those made. Um, if we do Trafalgar, we'll need another three, but um, that's fine. But yeah, cheers guys, thank you very much.